I'll tell you what guys, after 30 years living here on the Gold Coast, I can 100% tell you to not go to Surface Paradise because it is, it's definitely not the tourist hotspot of the Gold Coast. But uh, one place to definitely go is Alfred's apartment. It is some of the best coffee that I've ever had. I uh, thought I'd take you for a little tour around the Gold Coast and show you Surface Paradise. As much as I don't like it, it is certainly a part of home. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Trips to the thrift, guys. Thursday morning, I'm feeling pretty good. Got a lot of stuff to go and get. Got a lot of stuff to sell onto eBay. Uh, you're going to come along for the ride with me today. Hopefully, you get some enjoyment out of it. Smash the like button for your appreciation for the trip to the thrift. Let's dive into the first one. Fingers crossed we can kick it off with a bang. The first stop of the day is an absolute cracker. I've got so much good stuff to kick us off here. I'm gonna start us with the Holy Grails, the Nike Tailwind 8s. Have a look at these guys. I'm absolutely thrilled to get my hands on these. They are a size US nine and a half. They are in basically like new condition. Have a look at the soles on those guys. What a way to start the day. This is going to be a very good trip to the thrift. Uh, awesome pair of shoes here. No doubt they'll go upwards of about 70 bucks, I would say. Look, I paid $15, but for the shoes of that kind in that good a condition, I would have thought they would have been about 20 bucks. So I'm happy to pay 15 when they are as slick as that. That, my friends, is an absolute jats cracker. If we move on, I've also found these ones as well. The Geronimo Stilton hardcover book series. Now, guys, I have actually found eight Geronimo Stilton hard books. These are very, very good books to get your hands on, guys. They go upwards of $15 to $20 a piece, especially when they're hard cover. Now, I looked at some comps on eBay, and I truly believe, I truly believe, I will be listing these up for $120 for the eight. Now, they are quite heavy, that, no doubt about it. Postage will be a little bit. Um, I would probably say about $15 to $20 for postage. But guys, huge one. If I go 120, that will make me about 100 bucks worth of sales. So I'm absolutely thrilled with that. Look out for this one. Have a look at this. It's even got the gold. Look at that. That, that is a book to get your hands on, guys. I'm absolutely thrilled with that. Um, moving along, I've also found another book as well, The Dangerous Book for Boys as well. Guys, this one goes for about 30 bucks in pre-owned condition. So not a bad little find there. I've only paid a dollar. I only paid a dollar for the Geronimo Stiltons as well. So $8 there, $1 there, that's nine bucks, 15 bucks. I'm up to $24 spent and I'm well over $200, I dare say, on the, on the returns. Um, and then I've also found one other, which was this one here. I thought this was really nice. I paid $9 for it, but it was a vintage, Nautica sweater. A really nice vintage Nautica sweater. As you can see, a really nice embroidery right there with the Nautica logo. Um, really nice stripe, blue, plain. Um, yeah, I, I just think with a size small, that's probably not the best in the world, but it is It is a bit of vintage and I think it'll go for about 30 bucks. So I've picked that one up as well, guys. What a huge run to start the day. I've spent $33 in there and no doubt 200 to 250 bucks to kick us off. What a way to spend 20 minutes in the first thrift. Let's keep charging, guys. I'm feeling really good about it. All right, guys, we're diving into op shop run number two, and I've got a pretty good feeling about it. I've had a good look around, and I've been able to, first of all, spy some DVDs. Now, I've been able to get SpongeBob SquarePants season two and season four. They both go for $15 a piece. I've paid a dollar per disc, so I'm $6 in for a $30 turnaround. Not too bad, but this was the story of op shop run number two. I've been able to find six pairs of G-Star jeans and uh, Levi Strauss 501s as well. They were the Revend jeans that you just 
just saw there, they're worth $60. These ones here are the Arc 3D Slims. Uh, they're worth about 60 bucks as well. And then uh, I've also found two pairs as well of um, the Radar Straights. So the Radar Straight G-Stars, I would say all four of these G-Star jeans would go for $60 a piece on pre-owned value. And then you've also got these Levi Strauss 501s as well. Now, I think you can get upwards of $60 to $70 for these. I've got two pairs, 34 waist, 34 length. And as you'll see in just a little moment, I went up to the counter with $95 worth of jeans and I asked if I could get any form of discount. That comes up just for that, 95. 95? I've, 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 I've made it for you for 80. 80 would be great. It's perfect, just yeah. for that. I okay. think, can't thank you enough for that. Huh? Can't thank you enough. That's all right. Much appreciated. We're back on the road now, guys. Op shot number two, not too bad there. Stack of denim. Don't mind finding my denim because it goes on to sell pretty well. Definitely look for it when you're in the thrift. Uh, we're going to move on to op shot number three. As good as number two was, I'm not going to make that the run of the day. We've got two more to do, and I know that we're going to find some really good stuff in there. So stick with us, guys. Op shot number three, coming right up. Let's see you in there. Hyperdunks in the thrift, guys. How cool is that? I'm absolutely wrapped to get my hands on these things. These are a US 13 and they are in like new condition, guys. How cool are they? Really, really cool pair of shoes. 2012 Hyperdunks. Um, they've literally not been worn. I thought the comps were going to be a little bit better for these, to be honest. I reckon I'm only going to get about $70 to $80 for them. But given the condition, I might go in a little bit higher. I might go $85 free postage, something like that. But I pay $20 bucks for them. But when you find a pair pair of brand new basically hyperdunks in the thrift for twenty dollars i think you've just got to take it so i've gone ahead and i've done that one for the personal guys i was really happy to see this one in there the champion hoodie 2xl my size um so it's just a really nice plain essential champion is a very good brand if this was a little less than 15 i'd probably put it on the market for resale but for 15 bucks i'm happy to cop it for myself we are coming into winter over here in australia and then a couple of really good games as well guys i did have a five dollar ticket on these but i've ended up paying two dollars a piece i've paid six dollars for three xbox games I believe she thought that they were DVDs. And I'm okay that she thought they were DVDs because I've saved myself about $9. Um, I've got Grand Theft Auto 4 and Grand Theft Auto 5 right here, guys. Now, I really do think that this one will sell for about 30 bucks, and this one will sell for about 15 I'm going to push $49.99 free postage for the two. Two ripping games. Grand Theft Auto, awesome game. Let me know in the comments if you've played it. The other one as well, Juiced 2 is the other one that I picked up. This is only worth 20 bucks, and I was happy to pay 5 for it. Just do a really quick flip or even bundle it with an Xbox console because I do like to do that as well. Uh, but in the end, getting it for $2, I might just sell this one individually for $20 now. Um, that was a good get. Um, dove into another little op shop as well, guys. I did a couple. There was a few within the local area. So op shop number three, it has had a few little op shops in it. Who's seen the Adams Family? I found Gomez, guys. Gomez the plush toy. I've only paid $3 in the end for him. I just sold recently a Friday uh, the 13th plush, exact same size as this guy. And he went to the United States for $50. So don't sleep on the plush guys there is money to be made i think this guy will go for about twenty dollars i've only paid three dollars i thought i would grab him off the friday the 13th sale that was made and then look at this my god speaking about toys i have got a 50 centimeter batman right here he's a 2015 edition jacks pacific on the bottom now if you guys know your toys jacks is a good uh, manufacturer of toys to get your hands on um this guy goes for about seventy dollars on eBay, 70 bucks for this guy and I've paid just $8 for him. Oh my goodness, this is 
This is something you really want to be finding when you're out in the thrift, guys. Never sleep on the toys. The plush, the toys, they're always good things to get. Um, I'm going to go really quick here, guys, to be honest, because I've got a couple of other. Look, plain essential billabong here, guys. Long sleeve. I, I thought I'd grab that one as well. That's just a really nice long sleeve. That'll go up onto the website a little bit later. This will go onto the website as well. This is a really sick vintage size large jacket. Um, that is just really nice. It's a full zip-up jacket. It's got the collar on it. It's got some pockets in there as well. That is a very sick. And I've only paid $10 for that, but I thought that was really cool. Hey, this is a brand to look out for as well. It's called The Order, uh, The Anti-Order, I should say. Um, so there it is there, The Anti-Order. For those here in Australia, if you know of the store of Culture Kings, you'll find this brand in Culture Kings um, all the time. And it goes upwards of about $150 to $200, believe it or not. I found a hoodie for the very first time. It was only through doing a bit of digging on my phone that I actually realized this was a great brand. I just saw the unique pattern to it, kind of like the design on it, and thought I'd do my research while I was in store. And it certainly paid off. So I'm happy to pick this one up. I'm going to try and list him up for about $60. Bucks. Um, he is in very, very good condition, and he is a really quality brand as well, the Anti Order do look out for it because it goes on to sell really well. What a run, guys. There is a lot of items there. I'd have to add it all up. I've just swiped the card on a couple of different op shops and uh, we are flying. We are absolutely flying today. I've got so much already, but we've got one more op shop to do. Op shop number four, the big finish, the holy grail finish. Let's see what we can do. We'll see you in there, guys. Op shop number four. Righto, guys, let's do it. The last up shop of the day. I'm going to try really hard in here for you. Fingers crossed we can do well. Now, the t story of the run here was actually some of these shoes. I, I did find these Nike shoes that I thought were pretty cool. These are a US size 8. They're only $9, so I've gone ahead and I've picked those up. Another really good pair of Nike running shoes as well. So, um, look, these will always sell for about $40 to $50 pretty comfortably, so I'm picking these. This was the clearance rack and the story around op shop number four here. I've been able to find some high five DVDs in this this $1 clearance rack. So guys, do some comp research for high five DVDs. There's the bundle right there. I've been able to pick up nine of these DVDs. Some of them can be upwards of $200. Anywhere between $50 to $200 for some of them. You've got to find the right ones. I think I've got a $60 one in this bundle, so not too bad. Um, picked up a Brisbane Heat cricket jersey as well to finish the day, guys. But there we go. Op shop number four, all wrapped up. So that's it, guys. We are done. Just a monster episode. I'm so happy with everything that we bought today. No doubt, we're pushing upwards of about $1,000 worth of resale value on eBay. Yet again, another three hours in the thrift. It's 11.30 a.m. I'm going to go home, have some lunch, list them all up onto the website, uh, list them all up onto eBay, and hopefully we can get a few sales by my What's Sold video coming this Sunday. Another YouTube video for you guys to tune into. Hey, thanks so much for the support. If you're still here watching this video right now, I can't thank you enough, guys. I really do appreciate all the support that I've got on this channel from all of you all around the world um, and I will be putting up all these uh, I should say all these items up onto my website as well www.thehouseofmumber.com.au thank you very much to those that have jumped on already and bought a couple of items it is very very much appreciated like I always say it's about 20% less than anything that I put onto my eBay store so it's a benefit for you guys as the YouTube audience if you do want to buy anything from this trip to the thrift to jump onto the website and buy it there so thanks very much guys I really do appreciate you tuning in I cannot thank you enough look forward to catching you in the next episode what's sold hopefully it'll be all these items. We'll see you then. Thanks, guys.